morning, Dr. John. My name is Ade Bumi, and we are international PPQ team of uh, a restaurant in outside in a very fresh atmosphere. Our slogan, in case you want to buy PPQ from us in the future, is delicious all the way. We are, everybody is here today, and um, we have... Um, Foresty, right there. <laughs> we have Daniel Singh. We have Emily, right there. She's very pretty. We have Justin, the boss. He's right here. And uh, we have Adebumi, myself, and uh, Vegeta. <laughs> we are going to have a truck outside Leather Lane. It's going to be the freshest barbecue you've ever eaten in your life. And it's going to be tasty and very nice. Everything is to high standard. We have vegetables. We have, um, you can see how delicious, what a mouth watering food we are going to provide in the future. We have homemade sauce that we complement all our dishes. We are going to use beef, chicken, and pork ribs. It's going to be from very reputable, uh, those who are going to deliver. And where we are going to get it is going to be a reputable and stamped by the government. So we are giving you the best food. Expect the future to be very delicious and fresh. Thank you. Okay, guys. Um, what's more, my name is Anders, and I'm going to talk about how the business idea started and since when come from. Basically, as I said before in the beginning, was my idea to do the one a long time ago and I had problems which actually a strong belief in people which one I suppose not they I, wa I want to open before a barbecue in Boxo market and uh, I started to make a search there and the guys told me like too many license and too many actually sorry what I'm gonna say bullshits and uh, I didn't open but it was like seven years ago I still have this on my mind and now I feel the opportunity and I saw how it's easy to open now and I have one, like now one strong guy which I'm gonna even talk about finance and explain even better what I'm talking here and after this John come as well and help us with the idea and give even the location where we're gonna open. Basically the idea is consists like we're gonna hire a truck and we're gonna open a, a here in the nether market there we, and we check the license we check what we, everything what we need to know about how to open basically then as i said before this is going to be a brazilian barbecue and the as of the bedroom say is chicken pork and the <coughs> chicken pork and beef okay ah just one thing we're gonna make make a profit of net profit was 224, 225,000 in the first year, and we're gonna grow in the 50% next year and 25% on the third year. Go ahead. Uh, okay, uh, just one second, before I pass to me. Is um, we make a survey and went to the market to check up, who made this one for us, and we check our competitors and we know who they are and even what they want and what they sell okay and we're gonna talk about them properly we're gonna pass away well uh, based on our research uh, we can see most of the for example, these two, the street food studios, the famous Italian group, they took three, approximately three months to enter to the market, and they are just uh, one employee and the owner. Most of them are just an employee and the owner, just two people working. Uh, sorry. <laughs> and um, they all have goals to expand the business, to have more trucks in the future, because they should, for example, this one is just established now. 2017, they're very new, this one is very new, but this one is since 2012, they have these ones, and uh, they want to, as well, they want to open two another trucks in the market. And uh, we have these two as well, this is, um, this one and that one, they have a website, they are more, 
more sophisticated, they have more things. But they took a year, both of them, to enter to the market. And that day as well, they just, the owner and the other employee, both of them. And um, uh, the, this one just wants to maintain the good service and the quality of the food. He don't think to open other markets. And uh, this one as well, the same thing. And that most of, they, got, <laughs> they serve around during the day. The other one's about 60s, and this one's about 100. This one serves 158 customers during the day. Okay, basically, guys, <coughs> our target is going to be basically on the street, the officers there, and the persons <coughs> which one on the hour research in our questionnaire, people around 42 years, and the income around 30,000 a year. And the, we're gonna make flights on the promotion. We're gonna talk about mm -hmm. this uh, after. And the sorry, guys, just just as an idea of, uh, to explain what we meant here, based on our um, primary research conducted in the market on uh, um, on 50 potential customers, uh, we established that our main um, customer would be a male. We targeted him um, and made him John. Uh, his average um, age would be between 41 and 45 years old. Uh, we took an average at 42. He's single, no kids. Uh, he's an office worker, uh, earning around 30,000 a year. And he buys street uh, food once a week. Uh, he's familiar with uh, Brazilian barbecue and he's willing to try our products. Uh, now, all this information, like I said, came from our uh, questionnaire. Uh, again, with the competitive analysis, the details that we had there was based on a uh, primary um, question, uh, primary analysis as well. Uh, now, for for the marketing mix, under the marketing mix, we are provide the foods and beverages. barbecue, chicken, steak, and pork. Additionally, with rice, salads, and chips also. The beverages, uh, drinks, and water. The vegetables and the meat also getting from the markets for every day. We have to deliver the foods freshly and nicely. The packaging, from the plastic containers with the plastic lids and the paper bags that's providing with the napkins and the spoon of or if you want. The place mentioned the map. This is located in the letter in street market. That's all the times we see in this area because around this area most of the offices and campuses, schools are there. Uh, we have the special offer. The customers buy the food from us over 30 pounds. We will deliver home when we store to the delivery. That's a special offer. This within the working distance area in our business. And also some you know, free soft drinks depends on the price of foods. And same time, we are delivering the free trial bags for the customers to get the taste and everything. Yeah, this is the price. The table mentioned our food and our shy dates. It starts from two, one pound drinks and two pounds from seven pounds. Okay. Um this is a brief presentation of our uh, map layout. Um, we've um, uh, made it in, a, in, in, uh, Acro, in an AutoCAD and we've designed it so it makes um, the way we deliver our products easier. Uh, now, our team will be uh, made out of three staff uh, and <coughs> excuse me, the CEO will be a hands-on uh, manager as well. Now. Uh, they will work um, two shifts. One will start early in the morning from 5 a.m. Uh, going up to uh, midday, uh, lunchtime. He will be in charge of buying the uh, 
ingredients from the market's meat field and uh, <coughs> pickle field and uh, yeah, new pickle field market. So fresh vegetables and meat and beef are bought uh, on a daily basis. Uh, he will then take the van on uh, location and start the process of uh, preparing the food for uh, uh, lunchtime, when will be our opening time. So between 12 and 2 we'll be serving um, and that's when we're going to get our uh, income from. Uh, again, um, operation wise, uh, first, uh, so first shift will start in the morning, then the other two will come uh, at uh, 8 o'clock and help with uh, the preparation as well vegetable, rice, uh, chips, chips will be, uh, they will be handmade, uh, cut and um, freshly uh, cooked on, uh, on spot. Now the meat will uh, be marinated from uh, early hours in the morning till lunchtime, so uh, an average of four to five hours. Uh, we will go into further detail in our business plan in terms of the process. Uh, now the delivery will be uh, made up of one uh, staff that will be situated here at the grill, one at the front counter and one at the packaging. Now the way it works, uh, whoever is at the till will take the order, um, <coughs> pass it on to the grill and then uh, the packaging uh, staff will put everything uh, in a foam container um, and then will uh, return it to the uh, till person. Now uh, we will have um, <coughs> bags ready with napkins and um, cutlery, uh, plastic cutlery, uh, so this whole process shouldn't take more than one minute. So our aim is to serve uh, up to uh, 130, 160 customers in, in, uh, in our time frame, in lunch time. Um, again, um, this our uh, projected sales um, we uh, estimated everything uh, on um, the details that we took from our surveys. Now, uh, our competitors said they, that they're selling between 50 units and 130. 150 units. All right, so an average uh, from 50 to 160 units per day. Now, uh, we uh, estimated that we're going to have beef, chicken, and pork. Uh, we, we said that we're going to... Um, in average sell more beef than chicken and uh, uh, so uh, we estimated our calculation on 100 units sold, sold uh, on a daily basis uh, which um, will be 50 chicken, uh, 20 beef and 30 pork. Now as you can see um, here where we have the months of the year we uh, calculated how many uh, days we're going to actually work because we're going to be working Monday to Friday and that's going to give us different working days during the year. Now, according to um, obviously the time element and the uh, weather element as well, uh, we're going to have um, a small impact in, in our income. So, as you can see, there are different units sold uh, in the uh, winter months, spring months, summer, and autumn months. Uh, our main um, uh, profit time will be during the summer. Now, um, everything added up will gonna uh, bring us to uh, what my colleague said, uh, 225, an estimate of uh, income per year. Now, we're looking to pay our staff a uh, minimum wage and the CEO won't take any dividends in the first year. In order for us to reinvest and take it further to scale it up, uh, which means we're gonna employ more staff in the second year and each of us, uh, each of the staff working uh, initially, we're going to have their own vans uh, in leather markets. 14 and minutes. Uh, going further, um, uh, yeah. Our startup expenses. Um, we had initially we had two plans. We looked at the van, which is brand new, and uh, we had a quote from a supplier, and uh, he charged us around forty-five thousand uh, pounds based on our layout and all the equipment inside. Now, uh, we considered that to be too much for us and then uh, we went for a second-hand uh, van which has the basics in, like uh, the gas installation and the water. Uh, and then we went ahead and bought uh, 
the, the equipment that we needed. Uh, and this, um, all of this went to uh, around 14,500 uh, 14, uh, for equipment and machinery. Now, uh, we estimated the inventory will be 785 pounds. That's the ingredients that we need, uh, both vegetables, meat, dry ingredients, um, for the startup day. Uh, um, all, all of this will lead to 15,700 um, total of, in, in assets. Um, ex expenses, um, this was, um, the slide was uh, made previous uh, to, our, uh, to us receiving a quote from uh, an insurance company, uh, which told us that they would charge us around 530 pounds just for the van insurance, uh, plus the liability, which is around 150 per year. Uh, that will alter a bit the numbers that we have here. But as you can see, we've estimated 250, but the actual uh, insurance will be around six to 700, which is not that much uh, difference. 16 uh, minutes. <laughs> The rent will be uh, um, paid per day, and it will sixteen cost us minutes. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you for your attention, and hopefully. You will have Did you get the point? <laughs> it becomes tough, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because the title like. Um, and this is part of the thing about the business plan, yeah? Because when you've got your um, marketing plan and your operations plan, you've got to make some decisions about what's in. And you've got to be really clear about what it is that you're wanting to get through and why it's important. That aside, you know, the introduction, really nice. Good enthusiasm. Uh, try to be a bit more focused on the differentiation of your business, yeah? So those first couple of minutes are really important when you're, when you're doing presentations. It doesn't matter whether it's a business plan, it's any presentation that you do in class. I would always encourage my students, think really carefully about those first two minutes, just like you would your introduction of your assignment, yeah? Really try to make sure that you can <coughs> capture that attention. Um, but it was nice. This, you know, it, it showed a, a very good ease about um, you as a team, despite what I know has been going on in the background. <laughs> um, the slides are good, but they're a bit text heavy in places. Yeah. So again, when you're looking at doing presentations, quite often you're going to find less is more. But I like some of the nice touches that you've got going on in your slides. Um, you could be more coordinated with your speakers, and this is probably because you haven't really had a good opportunity to do a, a decent rehearsal. So in future, if you're going to present, make sure that it's a bit more slick, yeah? Because remember, you know, you're, one of the core things about your business is about being slick. Because you've got to serve every 30-odd seconds, right? So, you know, get that slickness in there. Pretty much all of you, there's some good, clear enthusiasm, and it's really nice to see this come across in your presentation. Um, tr some of you read the slides a bit too much, um, which is kind of odd given I know how much time, you know, all of you have put in to your presentations, yeah? Um, sometimes you need to go with that confidence, I know what I'm saying because, God damn it, I've been working so long on it, for, you know, for such a long period of time. Um, it's a good, clear proposition of what you're offering here. Um, it is good, simple pricing. And I think that you underplayed that. I like that you've got seven pounds and you've got one pound. Because actually, if you're going to look at optimizing how many people you can serve, actually, you know, 695 or 650 is a pain in the ass. Just having round numbers makes it real simple. So I kind of like that, and I think that in your marketing plan, you might want to talk about that and how that relates to your operational structure because I think that's really nice, yeah? I think that's really nice, and it makes your numbers really simple. Um, but the presentation was too long. If I was an investor, you kind of lost me at the end. 
You need it to be really crisp at the end. Tell me what you want from me. Yeah? Um, so the financials could have been a lot more tighter. Yeah? Think about that also in your marketing plan and in your executive summary. Yeah? Getting tight. What do I need to say? Why do I need to say it? You're in, you're out. You want more detail? Go to the appendix. If you want more detail, ask me some questions at the end, John. Rather than trying to deliver it all to you. Yeah? Because then I can ask you some questions in a bit more detail about where you got your numbers from. But it's pretty clear. But you can leave, uh, if you remember from that video, like breadcrumbs. Yeah, we yeah. want you to pick up. Uh -huh. We want you to ask questions because then this can really help us in terms of being able to sell the business a wee bit more. Whereabouts on the market are you going to position yourselves? At the beginning of the market. This side. Yeah, yes, in the beginning because have action now in this one. Uh, okay. Last week was four space there, basically. In the yeah. Beginning, on the beginning of the, this week here. Okay, you might want to think about a little bit further down, if I were you. We have you one competitor there already. Yeah. Yes. We have one guy already there doing this. Oh, okay, he's already doing this, yeah. is he? What, he's what's already doing Brazilian, Brazilian, Brazilian. Yeah. What chicken, basically. Just chicken. Yeah, just chicken, yes. Yeah, nobody. Yeah, just chicken, yeah. Yeah, just yeah, no, no, no. Majority of the workers, they want to do a little bit of exercise. They want to come to the end of the road, which is where we are, and they want to now move it further. And once we stop them, they saw the beauty of the food. They will, they, they will have to get their food. No, now you're selling me, sister girl. Right. Yeah, I think you need to think a little bit about your where you might be, want to be ideally positioned in that marketplace because you've got more, far more wealthy people generally towards the city. We have this chicken one there, and they have the Jamaica one as well. They're next, which one doing like kind of stuff, but they do chicken. So I don't actually I don't see point, but something which one can still chicken. Yeah, after. you might want to have a think about that. Yeah, I think, think that there's um there's the Argentinian sausage that they have. <laughs> the Argentinians have like a uh, different kind of sausage. You might want to have a look at sausages and different kinds of uh -huh. sausages in terms of having a look at that. So. You've got your Jamaican jerk chicken, and I think that yeah. that's really narrow. And I like the fact that yours is international, and you can have a look at being able to position yourself and have a look at different kinds of recipes that you can look at being able to introduce in response to your competitor analysis. So in your marketing plan, you might want to talk about what you know about your competitors, particularly those ones that do something close to you, and how you're going to change or variate or differentiate a wee bit more about how you're going to make it easier or more tasty easier for your customer more tastier for your customer how you've thought around that that problem but this is a this is a good concept continues to be a good concept and we'll have a bit of a chat a little bit later on shall we yeah well. i think that we might need to yeah. all right thank you very much